everyone. I want to welcome you into the Gospel Music Jukebox to Kids Night. I'm your host, Brother Greg Dodson, and for the evangelist, Eddie Cheney. My brother Cheney's out on the road doing the work of the evangelist right now. And uh, so he asked me would I come in at the uh, regular 7 o'clock time and uh, just uh, have a little kid service and everything. So uh, we're going to do about uh, probably about an hour program and everything and uh, uh, give uh, Brother Eddie time to transition into where he's traveling to. And uh, then around 8 o'clock or maybe just a little later, uh, Brother Eddie will be coming uh, back on with his uh, regular scheduled program right after me. Uh, so he just wanted me to uh, come in and uh, just do a little short program and let you guys know that uh, he loves you. And uh, he's out on the road and he's doing the work of the evangelist. And uh, out there traveling the highways and the byways and compelling those lost souls to come in. Amen. Praise God. So uh, we're just going to uh, sit back and enjoy a little bit of music. And uh, we've got a couple uh, uh, programs uh uh, different ones that uh, we're going to play here for a little bit and everything. And uh, like I said, uh, this will be a real short program for us. We're only going to be a, on about an hour. And uh, that should uh, give Brother Cheney enough time to uh, finish going where he was headed. And uh, then he'll be coming on and doing a live remote broadcast. So uh, good to see Brother Chris Merrill in the room. Uh, as I was saying, uh, Brother Merrill, uh, this is Greg Dotson. And uh, so uh, I'll be sitting in for Brother Eddie, and uh, he'll be coming back in around 8 o'clock or a little later. But uh, he wanted me to get things going on a regular scheduled time, uh, so that's what we're going to try and do. So uh, right now we're going to go back and get a little uh, more kids' music in and everything else. So gather the kids around, and uh, we're just going to have a good time here for a little bit.
to myself. Okay, good neighbors. Let's go to my house and play football. There's old Mr. Lotz. He broke his arm. Boys? Yes, yes sir. How'd you kids like to rake my leaves? I can't do it with this arm. Sorry, Mr. Lutz. We gotta play football. Wait a minute, Jimmy. We're supposed to be good neighbors. Yes, and raking leaves is fun. I bet he'll pay us, too. Okay, Mr. Lutz. <laughs> Where's Davy? Over at Mr. Lott's. This afternoon in the park, they're going to give away good neighbor balloons. Great big balloons. I'm going to tell Davy. Mr. Lott's, can we jump in the leaves? Sure, sure. <laughs> now I'll tell you what, boys. Get those leaves back in the pile and I'll make a big bonfire for you. Oh, boy! Davy! Huh? At two o'clock at the bandstand in the park, they're going to give away good neighbor balloons. Wow-wee! Great big balloons! John, where are the children? Lunch is ready. Over at Lot's yard. Davy, Sally, lunch time. Shucks, I gotta go home. Me too. And this is fun. Me too. Wait a minute, boys. Anyone object to a little money? No, no sir. Davy. Meet you in the park at two o'clock to get our balloons. Okay. Okie dokie. It was fun helping Mr. Lotz. Besides, he gave me a quarter. It pays to be a good neighbor. Oh, there, Davy. Aren't you getting fun and money mixed up with being a good neighbor? I am. Who is our neighbor? Who does God say our neighbors are? Our neighbors. Just people next door and down the block? Just people we know? You mean people we don't know are our neighbors? Anyone who needs our help. Yeah, but that could be anybody. God says anybody who needs our help is our neighbor. Golly, 
Excuse me. I'm going to the park early. Because the band's going to play. All right, honey. Don't let them give away all the balloons until I get there. I get a red balloon. children. All of you who will be good neighbors, come and get your balloons. Great big balloons. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is our neighbor Davy. I'll get you loose. I want my mama. I want my mama. Be a good neighbor. Yes, sir. Now you can go home to your mama. <laughs> I did. I'm lost. Lost too? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Mary. Mary what? Just Mary. What street do you live on? I don't know. <laughs> Near the park? <laughs> Over there somewhere. Okay. Get in the wagon. Great big balloons. I am a good neighbor. I am. Excuse me. Do you know this little girl? She's lost. Never saw her before. Are you a good neighbor, son? Yes, sir. Yes? Do you know this little girl? She looks like Betty Sharp. <laughs> I'm Mary. For Pete's sake, where's Davy? No, afraid not. 
be a good neighbor. Who's that? He's janitor of our church. Don't you know him? Uh-uh. Hello there, Davy. Do you know who this little girl is? Why, no. Don't you know her? I don't know her, but I know she's my neighbor. Davy better quit fooling around, or he won't get a balloon. You said it. Hello, Davy. Mary. You know her? Sure I know her. Where's she live? Corner Yellow House on Hoppy Lane. Let's go. One more balloon. Last but not least, eh, young man? Look who's here. Hey, mister. Sorry, boy. No more balloons. Whoa. Take a little girl home. Who? She was hurt in the park. That one? Had to be a good neighbor. She's not your neighbor. She is too. She needed help. Her mother pay you? I didn't do it for pay. Didn't even get a balloon, but I did. Cause I'm a good neighbor.
His god must be very powerful. He rules the wind and sea. Let us pray for Jonah, wherever he is. Look, a dove! It is a very good sign! His god must be very merciful.
Jonah, and he made a tough request. Go warn the people of Nineveh, they're not behaving their best. Cause if they don't start changing their ways, I'm destroying their whole town. The king and queen, the whole royal sea, will all come tumbling down. Oh, Jonah, Jonah, listen to God, and I'll be his every wish. Cause if you don't, you'll find yourself in the belly of a great big fish. Oh, Jonah. God for saving me. Thank you. Jonah. Is that you, God? Of course. And I'm asking you again. Go to Nineveh and warn them that they will be destroyed if they do not change their ways. Yes, God. I will. I won't let you down this time. God has said the people of Nineveh will be destroyed unless they change their ways. After three days, Jonah finally reached the outskirts of the Assyrian capital of Nineveh. This is our best bet. We would come from the opposite direction, so the Israelites would not be expecting us. Then we would attack. And defeat the Israelites again! Good. I have heard there is gold beneath their simple dwellings. Gold for us. Nineveh, beware! In 40 days you will be destroyed! Repent! It's mine! It is not! I found it first! You are trying to steal it from me! The people of Nineveh will be destroyed! Stop! 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 Listen! You are trying to trick me! No, I'm not! No, no, listen! Listen to what he's saying! God is angry at the people of Nineveh! If you do not repent, he will destroy you! Did you hear that? We have offended God. Please, you take it. The camel is yours. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Y you take it. It's yours. Let's share it. Good idea. Oh, the people of Nineveh. Look at them. Why does God show them mercy? Thieves, murderers, greedy villains. And now, only when God says he will destroy them, do they repent. <sighs> and I must warn them, because God told me to. <laughs> well, perhaps they won't repent, and God will destroy them after all. Yes, yes, that's what he had in mind all along. Hear ye, hear ye! God has said the people of Nineveh will be destroyed if they do not repent and change their ways. <laughs> you seem unusually happy today. I am. Soon you will be richer than ever, my dear wife. Oh, good. I'm getting tired of these old jewels. Clumsy fools! But your highness, please! What? You dare speak to me! Take them away and lock them up. My dear, how do you like this one? It is exquisite. Believe me, there will be thousands more like it. As we speak, our wonderful army prepares to invade the south. We will defeat those Israelites once and for all. How divine. The people of Nineveh will be destroyed! What? How dare ye! Arrest that man at once! Gather my ministers together. The people 
Well, Nineveh. Who are you? And who gave you such authority to say these things? Well, speak up. God told me to warn the people of Nineveh to change their ways. They will be destroyed. Destroyed? He is lying to you. He is a spy sent from the Israelites. Hmm, we shall see. God sent you, eh? Why should I, an Israelite, want to warn the people of Nineveh of this? I am doing God's will. Quiet down. Don't want me to shoot you. I don't know. Keep it down. I believe you. But if I find out you are lying, I will have you killed. Bring me the battle plans. If God is unhappy with us, then we must change our ways. And ask God for mercy. this young man delivered God's warning. We must change our ways and obey God better and ask His mercy. As a sign of our repentance, everyone will fast and wear sackcloth. Why must we wear sackcloth, Papa? Because it is the sign of true repentance. Enter. Your Highness, the sackcloth. C come back here. Tell me, have I been too harsh as queen? Uh, your Highness, I wonder. Pass me the sackcloth. Tell the guard to release my servants from prison. <gasps> yes, Your Highness. Thank you.
God changes his mind. So hot. There's no shade. I, I wish I could have some shelter. And I'm so tired. <sighs> Wonderful. Where did you come from? Oh, now. I feel good. I'm shielded from the hot sun by this beautiful plant. And at any moment, the people of Nineveh might be destroyed. Jonah. You still have not learned mercy, have you? Alas, I must teach you another lesson. Yes, little one. Do your job as I have commanded. Oh no! Oh my beautiful plant! What happened to you? What destroyed you? What ugly thing killed you? How awful. <laughs> it's so bright. It's, it's blinding me. Jonah, when will you learn? You cry over the death of one plant, and yet you wish destruction of an entire city full of innocent people, children who are not old enough to even walk. Jonah, when will you find mercy and forgiveness in your heart? Mercy? Me? Yes, Jonah, you. Where do you live, child? Somewhere in Nineveh. Don't cry. I'll take you home. Would you like to hear a story while we walk? What's it about? <sighs> about a man who ends up inside the belly of a giant fish. And Jonah finally learned to let go of his hate. Watching you grow before my eyes 
knocked at my heart's door Though I gave you rejection You just kept right on loving You sure got my attention Through daddy's little girl just to come in and uh, try and do about an hour program for the children. Uh, Brother Eddie's out on the road doing the work of the evangelist. Uh, so we've come in and we've done that. Uh, Brother Eddie, uh, as soon as I go out uh, momentarily, Brother Eddie will be coming back in and doing a program. Uh, but he's out on the road and um, he's out in the highways and the byways doing what the evangelist should. Amen. So uh, be in prayer for Brother Eddie as he's out on the road. Uh, he's going to be up in Ohio somewhere, he told me, uh, preaching and uh, sharing the good word of Jesus Christ tomorrow. So uh, we got time for about one more song, and uh, then I'm going to be going off the air. And then uh, Brother Eddie will be coming back on uh, with another program tonight. So uh, just uh, keep an eye on uh, over there on Facebook uh, with him or Sister Pauline Cheney. Or uh, maybe uh, some of the others in the chat room will be able to post it on their Facebook. Or just keep coming back here to uh, Brother Cheney's uh, Spreaker uh, account, Evangelist Eddie Cheney. And uh, just keep uh, uh, an eye on that. And you'll see the little red box pop up there that says live on the air. And you'll know that he's back on the air. And uh, just bringing us the good word of God like he always does. So I just want to say that I love each and every one of you. I appreciate you coming in. I hope that uh, you and the ch uh, children enjoyed the program tonight. Uh, you know, I was raised in church all my life, and uh, I, I actually I enjoy stuff like this. It brings back a lot of good memories of uh, uh, when I was in uh, uh, Sunday school and in children's church and stuff growing up. So uh, uh, to me, it's uh, you know it reaches out to the kids, but. Uh, it's uh, it's a good little stroll down memory lane for uh, for me, so I enjoy that. And uh, my uh, little uh, apple of daddy's eye is in the room, and uh, so I want to give a big shout out to my daughter, Miss Madeline Dotson, and tell her how much I love her, and how important she is to me, and how proud I am of her. You know, when you go up and you talk to her, uh, she's going to let you know she loves Jesus. And if you don't know who Jesus is, she'll be sure glad to introduce you to him. Uh, because, praise God, she's not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because she knows that it's the power of God unto salvation. And uh, I tell you, that's that's exactly why we have to do the things uh, that we're doing here with these programs. That's why we have to take time out of our lives and invest in our children. That's the greatest investment you can make. And uh, when you do those things... You're depositing seeds that the Bible says will never, never depart from them. So uh, I just, uh, I, I, I couldn't, uh, and listen, I, you know, I know every parent thinks that their kid's the best, but, uh, you know, tonight I'm the parent behind the mic, and uh, so I checked with a producer, and the producer told me it was okay for me to brag on mine. 
So I, again, I just, uh, I want to say to my daughter, you'll never know how much daddy loves you and how much you mean to him and how proud, uh, that, that I am of you, Madeline. All right. Well, I'm going to get off of here because, uh, brother Eddie should be coming in momentarily and, uh, we're going to play us off of this song right here. So y'all be blessed and I love you and I love all the gospel uh, music jukebox family and look forward to seeing you soon at the gathering up there at, uh, my brother Eddie and uh, Sister Pauline's house on the 19th. All right, well, let's give this song a listen. Y'all be blessed. Love y'all, and good night. Jesus loves me, this I know. 